The province is working on to introduce a casino license renewal policy to better control the casino industry and boost its contribution to the local community. Todd Thacker reports. There are a total of eight casinos on Jeju Island, and these have been in operation for between 24 and 40 years or longer. As sales have been sluggish recently, some establishments became involved in illicit activities, like illegal currency exchange and prostitution. One reason for this disturbing trend in the gaming industry is a lack of supervision on the part of local authorities. In the last decade, there have been more than 20 cases of administrative punishments imposed on local casinos. The province is now revising its casino business license policy, replacing permanent licenses with those that are subject to regular renewal. A casino owner will be obliged to apply for renewal permission every five years. If one receives a poor evaluation, the province will be able to cancel their business license. It was the provincial council that suggested the need for a license renewal system. The province subsequently added it to the revision bill of the Jeju Special Act. Once the renewal system is introduced, a casino business will be evaluated on the following. The number of tourists the business attracts, its financial contribution to the local economy, and its financial status and stockholders' credit ratings. If a business fails to meet these criteria, its license will be revoked. In the past, a similar casino license renewal system was proposed by the province, but the national government rejected the proposal on the grounds of parity with other regions. However, this year there is a good chance that Seoul will greenlight the revision bill. The Office for Government Policy Coordination and the Ministry of Culture, Sports and Tourism have reportedly reached an agreement on the need for the system. Along with the introduction of the license renewal system, the province is pushing forward with a prior permission system for ownership transfer and the establishment of a supervisory commission. It is hoped these policies will enhance the province's oversight and boost the competitiveness of local casino businesses. Todd Thacker, KCTV.